Hello everyone. In this exciting final episode of the first season, join Tommy and Lucy on their highly anticipated NASA training course. They will be away from their families for months, but they will be together, and undoubtedly, this will mark the beginning of a new chapter in their lives. We hope you enjoy this last adventure. Don't forget to subscribe to the Narratives channel, like, and activate notifications. This will help us create more content like this. Let's go! In the previous episodes, Tommy faced Russian espionage while rescuing the dog Leica, explored the Red Planet, and ventured through the rings of Saturn. Now, he was about to embark on an exciting and real journey. After an adventure that would change their lives and Lucy's, they had been accepted and enrolled in the highly anticipated NASA training course. Expectation dominated Tommy's mind, keeping him awake the night before. Anxiety and excitement engulfed him, leaving him curious about what the first day of classes at NASA held for him. He felt like a star about to shine in the night sky. Tommy's imagination wandered through the hallways of the space agency as he prepared for the new journey. He envisioned brilliant minds, futuristic machines, and the vastness of the cosmos. The opportunity ahead of him was like a portal to the unknown, waiting to be explored. With each furtive glance at the clock, the hands seemed to delight in playing with time, stubbornly refusing to move forward to the waking hour. On the other side of the room, his younger sister slept peacefully, oblivious to the agony that consumed his heart. It was the most anticipated day of his life, and expectation flooded every fiber of his being. The sun, still shy, began to paint the first rays of light that timidly entered through the window. Anxiety took over the room as he paced back and forth with the energy of a rocket about to be launched into space. The day promised to be full of emotions and accomplishments. It was the moment to bring to life a long-held dream, the culmination of years of dedication and perseverance. However, time seemed to play with their feelings, as if it knew the significance of that day and wanted to prolong the wait. As his heart raced, he looked at his younger sister, so innocent and unaware of the turmoil surrounding him. He admired the tranquility displayed on her face, wishing he could share in that serenity at that crucial moment. The countdown in his mind seemed endless. Each second dragged on like an eternity as he imagined what awaited him on that day that was beginning. It would be a day of achievements, a turning point in his journey, an opportunity to give wings to his boldest dreams. Finally, the long-awaited moment arrived. The alarm clock rang, breaking the silence and bringing a sense of relief mixed with an indescribable feeling of excitement. He got out of bed, feeling his heart pulsating with strength and determination. It was time to face the unknown, to take the first step towards a bright future. He looked at his younger sister, still wrapped in deep sleep. A mix of pride and anticipated longing swept through his chest. He wished he could share that journey with her, to have someone so close to witness his triumphs and support him through every obstacle. As Tommy anxiously waited, his mother turned the doorknob, revealing a surprised expression as she encountered the scene before her. Her eyes met Tommy, who was already prepared for the big day. His clothes impeccably changed and aligned, his hair carefully combed, his shoes shining, and the backpack perfectly adjusted on his back. It was as if he was ready to launch into space without even needing breakfast. Tommy's mother was momentarily stunned, unable to contain a smile of admiration that formed on her lips. She couldn't believe her son's determination and dedication. In her heart, she knew how much this moment meant to him and how he had prepared for this day. With a glimmer of pride in her eyes, Tommy's mother wasted no time in embracing him tenderly. 
Her hands caressed her son's face, conveying a mixture of love and encouragement. She knew Tommy was about to embark on an extraordinary journey, and she wanted him to remember that she would be there to support him every step of the way. Tommy, in turn, returned his mother's embrace with a radiant smile. That simple and warm gesture conveyed unwavering confidence in his heart. He felt strengthened by the loving presence of his mother and knew he could face any challenge that lay ahead. As they separated from the embrace, Tommy's mother looked at him with tenderness. She knew it was time to release him to pursue his dream, to soar high in pursuit of his aspirations. With a nod of her head, she indicated the path to the kitchen, reminding him of the importance of having a hearty breakfast before facing the day. Tommy smiled, grateful for his mother's loving reminder. He knew that even amidst the busyness and excitement, it was essential to take care of himself, nourish his body and mind to confront the challenges that lay ahead. Together, mother and son walked towards the kitchen, engaging in lively conversations as they prepared for the beginning of a journey that would change their lives forever. On that special morning, as they savored breakfast, a feeling of gratitude filled the room. Tommy felt blessed to have such a loving mother and unconditional support on his path. Every detail, from the aroma of freshly brewed coffee to the calmness that hung in the air, created an atmosphere of serenity and confidence. As they savored breakfast, immersed in a comforting atmosphere, Tommy noticed a gentle movement of the living room door. His eyes turned to the opening, and his heart filled with joy as he saw his father, Mr. Paul, there, cutting through the rays of sunlight that crossed the open door, taking a brief moment from his busy schedule to join them. With a warm smile and eyes filled with love, his father approached the table. He embraced Tommy and his mother tightly, conveying all the confidence and support he could in a simple and affectionate gesture. Tommy felt enveloped by paternal love, knowing he could rely on his father, even when he was immersed in his demanding work. Tommy's father, with his firm yet gentle voice, wished him good luck in his NASA course. His words of encouragement echoed in Tommy's heart, fueling his determination and strengthening his conviction that he was on the right path. As breakfast continued, lively conversation among father, mother, and son filled the room. The father shared stories from his own youth, recalling moments of challenge and overcoming. Each word was a reminder of the untapped potential residing within Tommy, a reminder that he was capable of great achievements. Tommy listened to each word with enthusiasm, absorbing his father's wisdom and experience. Each story told was like a ray of inspiration, igniting his dreams even further. He realized that even amidst daily responsibilities, his father found time to support him and share his wisdom. As the conversation flowed, Tommy felt blessed to have loving and dedicated parents by his side. They encouraged him to pursue his dreams and constantly reminded him of his potential. That morning, his father's presence was a reminder that family support was a fundamental pillar in his journey. Tommy thanked his father, not only for the encouraging words, but also for being present in such an important moment of his life. He knew that even when obligations kept them physically apart, the love and support of his family were always present. As the morning progressed, Tommy felt rejuvenated and confident. The embrace of his parents and the words of encouragement blended with the nurturing atmosphere created by his mother, creating a positive energy that propelled him into the day ahead. The NASA course awaited Tommy, filled with challenges and opportunities. With the loving support of his parents, he was ready to face every obstacle and embrace every learning experience that crossed his path. The next chapter of his journey was about to begin, and he felt blessed to have such an incredible family by his side. A soft and familiar honk echoed through the air, catching Tommy's attention. 
His eyes lit up as he spotted Mrs. Linda's shiny Cadillac approaching slowly. The car door opened with a gentle click, revealing an impeccable interior with cream leather seats that shimmered in the sunlight. Tommy couldn't help but smile as he saw Lucy in the back seat, waving excitedly. With contagious enthusiasm, Tommy jumped into the car, feeling the comfort of the soft upholstery beneath his body. The elegant details of the Cadillac evoked a sense of sophistication and style, perfectly matching the special occasion that awaited the pair. It was as if they were embarking on a cinematic adventure from the 1950s. Mrs. Linda, with an affectionate smile, adjusted the rearview mirror and started the car. As the vehicle moved along the road, the trees approached and receded, creating a play of light and shadow on the window. Tommy was absorbed in the ever-changing landscape, observing the treetops dancing to the rhythm of the wind. Each tree seemed to be a silent witness to the excitement that permeated the car. The journey to the NASA building would be long, almost a three-hour drive. In that era, in the mid-1950s, there were no cell phones to fill the time. Tommy and Lucy had only each other's company and the unfolding landscape before them. The trip was a perfect opportunity to share stories, dreams, and expectations. As the car moved forward, Tommy and Lucy let themselves be carried away by lively conversations and contagious laughter. They shared their boldest dreams, imagining a future in space, exploring distant planets, and uncovering the secrets of the universe. Their excitement filled the car, creating an atmosphere of positive energy and anticipation. As time passed, Tommy occasionally fixed his gaze out the window, observing the small towns and picturesque landscapes unfolding before his eyes. They were on a journey into the unknown, while also appreciating the simple beauty of the world around them. As the Cadillac glided along the road, the anxiety and excitement of Tommy and Lucy grew. The NASA building was approaching, and the vastness of possibilities awaiting within its walls was almost palpable. They imagined brilliant scientists, gleaming spacecraft, and the secrets of the universe that would be revealed. As the car slowed down, indicating the imminent arrival, Tommy felt his heart race. The excitement overflowed from his chest, but a part of him also felt a pang of nervousness. While they were eager to embark on this new journey, Tommy and Lucy knew they would also face unknown and demanding challenges. The gleam of the adventure that awaited them was accompanied by a dose of responsibility and dedication. As the car finally came to a stop in front of the majestic NASA building, Tommy felt a mix of emotions within him. He looked at Lucy, their eyes reflecting determination and confidence. They were ready to take the next step towards fulfilling their dreams. Mrs. Linda turned off the car engine, and a moment of silence filled the air. Tommy gazed at the imposing building in front of him, feeling small in the face of its grand purpose. The words of encouragement from his mother and the constant support from his parents echoed in his mind, strengthening his determination. Tommy opened the car door, taking in a deep breath of the fresh air that filled his lungs. He felt the excitement pulsing through his veins as he prepared to take the next step. Looking at Lucy, he found a look of complicity and friendship, remembering all the adventures they had shared up until that moment. With a determined smile on his face, Tommy bid farewell to Mrs. Linda with a tight hug and a heartfelt thank you. He and Lucy walked side by side towards the doors of the building, where their lives would change forever. As they entered the NASA building, Tommy and Lucy could feel the vibrant energy that permeated the environment. The walls reverberated with the excitement of passionate scientists and astronauts, all dedicated to unraveling the secrets of space. Tommy looked at Lucy, and amidst the whirlwind of emotions, a certainty enveloped them, 
they were about to be part of something greater than they had ever imagined. Together, they would embark on this cosmic journey, facing challenges, acquiring knowledge, and seeking the unexplored. At the threshold of the entrance, Tommy and Lucy exchanged one last look filled with determination and hope. They were ready to dive headfirst into this new reality and pursue their boldest dreams. The NASA building awaited them, full of possibilities, and they were about to embark on an adventure that would shape the future of space exploration. And so, with firm steps and hearts filled with anticipation, Tommy and Lucy crossed the doors of NASA, ready to embrace the unknown and tread the path of their dreams. What the future held for them was a mystery, but they were confident that they would be able to reach for the stars. The course that Tommy and Lucy were about to embark on was a five-year journey. This achievement filled them with excitement, but also with a slight tug at the heart at the thought of being away from home for such a long time. The longing for family and childhood friendships was already starting to make itself present. Upon arriving at the NASA building, they were greeted by a team member who guided them to their temporary accommodations. For a brief moment, they were separated and taken to different rooms, where they found other children who were also beginning their journey towards space dreams. Tommy found himself in a spacious room, with bunk beds lined against the walls. The smell of fresh paint and the sense of novelty lingered in the air. He found himself surrounded by curious and eager faces, each carrying their own unique stories and dreams. As they settled in and organized their belongings, Tommy felt a mixture of excitement and nostalgia. The idea of making new friends and sharing experiences with his course mates was thrilling, but he also knew that he would have to temporarily say goodbye to Lucy and the security of his old routine. After a few minutes, Tommy and Lucy were guided back to the meeting point, where all the students would gather for their first class. The atmosphere was filled with anticipation and youthful energy. Tommy could see the excitement in the eyes of his new classmates, all ready to dive headfirst into the fascinating world of space exploration. As they took their seats in the classroom, Tommy looked for Lucy, feeling relieved when he found her by his side. He knew that even as new friendships were formed, the connection they shared was special and unbreakable. Looking around the room, Tommy was impressed by the diversity of talents and skills gathered there. There were scholars, dreamers, potential engineers, and future mission commanders. They were young, but they possessed a burning passion that drove them forward, ready to face the challenges that lay ahead. As the professor entered the room and began speaking about the curriculum, Tommy felt even more excited. He knew that the next five years would be intense, filled with learning and discoveries. He was ready to dive headfirst into this unique experience and embrace all the opportunities that NASA would offer him. As the class continued, Tommy cast a quick glance at Lucy by his side, exchanging a knowing smile. Together, they would face this challenge and write their own chapter in the history of space exploration. They were determined to make their dreams come true and leave a lasting mark on the vast universe that awaited them. In the classroom, as Tommy and Lucy settled into their desks, Professor Thompson approached with an awkward gait. His imposing figure displayed a well-tailored checkered blazer and a bow tie, adding a touch of elegance to his style. His hair showed faint traces of gray insisting on appearing revealing his wisdom and experience accumulated over the years. Professor Thompson wore a pair of square glasses with thick lenses that enhanced his piercing and insightful gaze. Every time he began to speak, his clear and melodious voice filled the classroom, as if each word was carefully chosen to spark the interest and curiosity of the students. As the professor walked around the room, a cloud of chalk dust lingered on his hands, a sign of the chalkboard he had enthusiastically shared with the class minutes before. 
The white dust contrasted against the dark skin of his hands, symbolizing the connection between ancient knowledge and the wisdom he shared with his students. The presence of Professor Thompson was captivating. His confident posture and passion for the subject radiated in every gesture and movement. As he explained complex concepts and scientific theories, a kind of encyclopedia seemed to open in the minds of the students, revealing a vast world of possibilities and discoveries. Tommy and Lucy watched with admiration as Professor Thompson navigated the waters of knowledge, guiding them towards unexplored horizons. His teaching methods encouraged active participation, fostering questions and debates among the students. In addition to being an excellent teacher, Thompson also proved to be a dedicated mentor and advisor. He not only imparted information, but also shared his personal experiences and inspired the students to pursue their dreams with determination and dedication. As the class progressed, Tommy and Lucy felt privileged to have Professor Thompson as their guide on this journey at NASA. They knew they were in the presence of an exceptional teacher, capable of sparking curiosity, nurturing the thirst for knowledge, and shaping brilliant minds to face the challenges of space. As the day went on, Tommy and Lucy continued to absorb every word from Professor Thompson, aware that they were embarking on a transformative journey. Together, they would follow in the footsteps of this remarkable educator, knowing that his knowledge and guidance would be crucial in achieving their goals as astronauts. As the class progressed, Mr. Thompson decided to share a fascinating story that had taken place decades earlier, in 1938. He began talking about the famous CBS radio broadcast that caused a sensation of panic among many unsuspecting listeners. Professor Thompson delved into the narrative, transporting the students back in time to an era when radio was the primary form of entertainment and information. He described the tense atmosphere that surrounded the world on that night of October 30th, 1938, when the radio adaptation of H.G. Wells' The War of the Worlds was broadcasted. With an engaging voice, Professor Thompson described the tranquility that pervaded the homes of the listeners on that night as they tuned their radios to listen to popular radio programs. He spoke about the excitement and anticipation that filled the air as the program began, unaware that they were about to embark on an unforgettable experience. With narrative skill, the professor described every detail of the CBS radio announcement, such as the announcer interrupting the regular program to broadcast urgent news of a Martian invasion. He described the announcer's voice, filled with tension and dread, as he reported the alien spacecraft landing on Earth and the ensuing chaos. As Mr. Thompson continued to tell the story, the students felt transported to that fateful night. They could almost sense the agitation and confusion that swept over the population as the broadcast unfolded. Some listeners, faithfully believing in that transmission, panicked fleeing their homes and seeking refuge in places considered safe. We are bringing you an eyewitness account of what's happening on the Wilmoth Farm, Grover's Mill, New Jersey. We now return you to Carl Phillips at Grover's Mill. Ladies and gentlemen, my aunt. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, here I am, back of a stone wall that adjoins Mr. Wilma's garden. From here, I get a sweep of the whole scene. I'll give you every detail as long as I can talk and as long as I can see. The more state police have arrived. They're drawing up a cordon in front of the pit. About 30 of them. No need to push the crowd back now. They're willing to keep their distance. The captain's conferring with someone. Can't quite see who. Oh, yes, I believe it's Professor Pearson. Yes, it is. Now, now they've parted, and the professor moves around one side, studying the object while the captain and two policemen advance with something in their hands. I can see it now. It's a white handkerchief tied to a pole. Flag of truce. Those creatures know what that means, what anything means. Wait a minute. Something's happening. Humph. 
shape is rising out of the pit. I can make out a small beam of light against a mirror. What's that? There's a jet of flame springing from that mirror and it leaps right at the advancing men. It strikes them head on. Lord, they're turning into flames. Ah! Now the whole field's caught up by the woods. The fires, the, the gas tanks, tanks of the automobiles spreading everywhere. Coming this way now, about 20 yards to my right. Professor Thompson explained how the fictional story of the Martian invasion presented on the radio had such a significant impact on society at the time. He highlighted the quality of the production, the performance of the actors, and the media's ability to create such a convincing illusion. Ladies and gentlemen, due to circumstances beyond our control, we are unable to continue the broadcast from Grover's Mill. Evidently, there's some difficulty with our field transmission. However, we will return to that point at the earliest opportunity. In the meantime, we have a late bulletin from San Diego, California. Professor Indelkoffer, speaking at a dinner of the California Astronomical Society, expressed the opinion that the explosions on Mars are undoubtedly nothing more than severe volcanic disturbances on the surface of the planet. We continue now with our piano interlude. By sharing this intriguing story, Mr. Thompson encouraged the students to reflect on the power of media and how storytelling can influence people's emotions and actions. He emphasized the importance of exercising critical thinking and fact-checking, especially in times of technological advancements and rapid changes in how we consume news. At the end of the class, the students left with a newfound appreciation for history and the ability of a simple radio broadcast to have such a profound impact. They felt grateful to have a teacher like Mr. Thompson, who could bring past events to life and inspire a deeper understanding of the world around them. After Mr. Thompson delved into the story of the CBS radio announcement, Tommy felt his imagination ignited by that captivating narrative. As he listened attentively to the Martian invasion unfold, his mind was transported into a new adventure. Tommy suddenly found himself immersed in the scene being described on the radio. He imagined himself sitting in his living room, listening to the news with wide eyes and a racing heart. With each dark and thrilling detail announced by the broadcaster, Tommy's imagination came to life. At the climax of the narrative, Tommy heard the news that he and Lucy had been assigned to a crucial mission. They were to depart immediately for the heart of the jungle, where a Martian spacecraft had crash-landed, causing a devastating impact on the lives of the animals and indigenous people inhabiting the region. Tommy's mind was filled with vivid images of the lush forest, with tall trees and dense vegetation. He imagined himself navigating winding rivers as the rescue team ventured through the jungle in search of information about the extraterrestrial spacecraft. As the story unfolded in his mind, 
Tommy found himself facing thrilling obstacles and unexpected dangers. He and Lucy would have to confront the unknown vastness of the forest, overcome natural challenges, and interact with the local indigenous people to uncover secrets about the spacecraft and its potential implications for humanity. Tommy's imagination became a blank canvas where he could create every detail of this new adventure. He envisioned himself using high-tech equipment like advanced binoculars and tracking devices as he explored uncharted trails and marveled at the diversity of wildlife around him. As his mind wandered through the heart of the jungle, Tommy felt a mixture of excitement and apprehension. He was ready to face any challenge and protect the world from the potential dangers the Martian spacecraft represented. With each step taken in his imagination, he drew closer to the place where the mysteries of the cosmos and the wonders of nature intertwined. However, the story ended there, leaving Tommy and his thoughts suspended in this thrilling imaginary journey. He couldn't wait to share his ideas with Lucy and discover what the future held for them in this captivating and mysterious adventure. Tommy and Lucy, after an exhausting journey, finally arrived at the remote heart of the jungle where the Martian spacecraft had crashed. The scene before them was that of a lush jungle, with tall trees rising majestically towards the sky. Humidity hung in the air, enveloping them with its warmth and an earthy aroma. As they advanced through the dense vegetation, Tommy and Lucy felt the constant presence of wildlife around them. Monkeys leaped from branch to branch, emitting curious sounds, while colorful birds flew in flocks, creating an unforgettable visual and auditory spectacle. Soon, they came across a small indigenous village hidden among the trees. The local inhabitants were clearly alarmed by the spacecraft's crash. Their faces expressed curiosity and, at the same time, a certain apprehension of the unknown. Tommy and Lucy approached cautiously, respecting the culture and customs of that ancestral community. They were greeted with curious looks and shy smiles. The tribe's chief, a wise and imposing man, approached them and, in his native language, offered help in the search for information about the spacecraft. With the help of an interpreter, Tommy and Lucy were able to communicate with the indigenous people, sharing the purpose of their mission and seeking crucial information. They discovered that the spacecraft's crash had caused a disturbance in the harmony of the forest, with agitated animals and strange behaviors among the local inhabitants. Guided by the indigenous people, Tommy and Lucy ventured deeper into the forest, following narrow and winding trails that led to the crash site of the spacecraft. As they walked, they witnessed the beauty of nature in its purest form, with exotic plants and mysterious sounds echoing around them. After hours of walking, they finally arrived at the crash site. The spacecraft, majestic and alien, was partially buried in the ground. It was a fascinating and eerie sight at the same time. Tommy and Lucy examined the wreckage, collecting samples and taking photos to document their findings. As they investigated the spacecraft, they noticed a strange energy emanating from it. It was as if the object was pulsating with life, full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. Tommy felt a shiver run down his spine as he contemplated the enigma that lay before him. However, the story reaches a suspenseful point, leaving Tommy and Lucy's adventure in the heart of the jungle hanging in the air. They were about to delve even deeper into unraveling the mystery of the Martian spacecraft. The forest around them seemed eagerly awaiting their next actions, while the mysterious energy continued to envelop them. Tommy and Lucy decided to explore the surroundings in search of additional clues. Carefully, they ventured into the dense vegetation surrounding the spacecraft, following tracks and observing the signs left by the impact. They were determined to uncover the secrets of that encounter between extraterrestrial technology and the pulsating heart of nature. 
As they advanced, the forest revealed its magnificence. Exotic plants and towering trees stretched in every direction, creating a mystical atmosphere. Sunbeams, filtered through the foliage, formed a spectacle of light and shadows, illuminating Tommy and Lucy's path as they admirably explored every detail of this enchanted setting. During their journey, they came across a clearing enveloped in an unusual silence. It was there that the indigenous people believed to have witnessed the first signs of the spacecraft. The place emanated a peculiar energy, a mixture of intrigue and respect for the extraterrestrial presence. Tommy and Lucy approached the epicenter of the clearing, meticulously examining the ground and searching for traces that could help decipher the events that occurred after the spacecraft's crash. They collected soil samples and analyzed the surrounding plants, hoping to find hidden answers in the smallest details. Suddenly, a strange sound erupted in the forest. It was a distant and menacing roar, echoing among the trees. Tommy and Lucy exchanged nervous glances, aware that the investigation of the spacecraft had disturbed the natural balance of the environment. With their hearts racing, they turned towards the thunderous sound and spotted a group of wild animals approaching fiercely, drawn by the disturbed energy of the sight. Large animals stared at them with attentive eyes, as if fiercely protecting their invaded territory. The ground trembled under the weight of the massive feet of agitated elephants, rhinoceroses, and gorillas. They seemed to know that the object did not belong in the forest and had to be removed. Tommy and Lucy, instinctively, stepped back and sought shelter in a nearby tree. They had to act quickly as the noise became deafening and the trembling made it increasingly difficult to find refuge. They observed nature in all its wild strength. It was a powerful reminder that the presence of aliens could disrupt a delicate ecosystem. As the animals circled the area, Tommy and Lucy realized that, to protect themselves in the spacecraft, they needed to act with respect and sensitivity towards the life that inhabited that ancestral space. They understood that the balance between scientific exploration and environmental preservation was crucial for the success of their mission. At this crucial moment, Tommy and Lucy realized they needed to find a way to communicate with the animals and show them that they posed no threat. They recalled the ancient stories told by the indigenous people about the deep connection between the local community and the wild inhabitants of the forest. With renewed courage, they began to mimic the sounds and movements of the animals around them, hoping to establish a connection. Gradually, the animals seemed to calm down, curious about the human presence that showed respect and harmony. Tommy and Lucy continued slowly, now accompanied by a procession of animals that watched them attentively. They felt honored to share that special moment with the wildlife as they continued toward the Martian spacecraft. As they returned to the clearing, Tommy and Lucy noticed something unexpected. The gentle glow of the spacecraft intensified, and a vortex of energy began to form around it. It was as if the ship was preparing to depart, returning to its distant destination. Realizing that time was limited, Tommy and Lucy hurried to collect as much information and samples as possible before the spacecraft left. They documented every detail, took photographs, and made notes in their notebooks, capturing the story and essence of that unique encounter between worlds. As they prepared to leave the forest, Tommy and Lucy felt a profound gratitude for the opportunity to witness something so extraordinary. The journey had expanded their minds and hearts, paving the way for a new understanding of the vastness of the universe and the interconnection of all forms of life. With the spacecraft slowly fading into the distance, Tommy and Lucy bid a final farewell to that magical place and returned to their starting point, carrying with them the promise to share their discoveries with the world and to never forget the importance of preserving and respecting nature in all its forms. And so, the story of Tommy and Lucy in the heart of the jungle, between the search for answers and the awakening of a broader awareness, continues to resonate in their memories, leaving them eager for new adventures and mysteries to be unraveled. And so, we reach the end of this season of Tommy, 
the dreamy astronaut story. It was just the beginning of an incredible journey that took us to unknown worlds, awakening our imagination and curiosity. Our narratives aim to transport and stimulate our imagination in a simple and fun way, and we hope you enjoyed them. But fear not dear viewers. The Narratives Channel is already preparing a new season, a new phase of the story that promises to be even more exciting. Next week, the series Ocean Secrets will premiere, full of suspense, tension, and twists. The fishing village will be the setting for terrifying encounters with scary sea monsters and surprising stories. And for those who have followed the journey of Tommy, the dreamy astronaut, rest assured. He will return in the second season, ready for more intergalactic adventures and dreams that take us to places beyond our imagination. Don't miss the upcoming stories on the Narratives Channel. Get ready to dive into ocean secrets. The Narratives Channel will continue to build and strive to enchant its audience. We are just beginning a beautiful story and taking people to extraordinary universes through our stories. Until next week, dear viewers. Get ready for a new wave of excitement and entertainment. And remember, imagination knows no limits when it comes to Narratives Channel stories. Thank you for watching and don't forget to share, subscribe, like, and turn on notifications. See you soon. Bye.